a year later, a few updates, and here's what we have. As you can see, these are the uh, new improvements recently uh, involved. You can certainly pause it and take a look. This is the new look on the app. It gives you some access to battery information, uh, estimates, and so forth, along with the storage details and even the RAM, which you can now clean if there's extra stuff running in the background. Uh, there's now an SOS message. Basically, if you're in trouble, you can hit the uh, watch button, home button three times, an emergency call to uh, someone. There's also now a new inactive setup, uh, or instead of walking, uh, it'll let you do a stretch uh, real quick. The sleep view has been improved on the watch as well. A few more details, better graphs, all that stuff. Uh, there's now also on the phone or on the uh, S Health app uh, a new global uh, competition setup uh, where basically you compete against the world uh, and it uh, has a nice game set up where you gain XP and sort of follow the map. Uh, it's pretty fun but it's uh, only recent so far. Now there's also been some updates on the app to your uh, details given when exercising. Uh, it's set up slightly differently and gives a little more information specifically to your heart rate. Uh, this will also show up on the uh, fit to as well. Uh, they now have splits. Uh, a few of my favorite apps to use is Blue Mail. It lets you choose and set up up to five different quick options. And within the texting realm, I like the Textra app. Uh, it is free, though it does have a few advertisements. You don't notice them. You can purchase it to get rid of that. Uh, but it lets you look back at other previous messages. Uh, you can call them, mark as read, and reply. And the reply actually gives you the all of your quick setup messages, as well as the ones that automatically appear uh, via this Samsung device. Works quite well and is uh, quite instant. Uh, there's also been an update to the uh, running app and a few other apps. Uh, basically allows you to choose up to two things to view at once. You don't have to keep swiping through them, like distance and pace, which are the two that I normally use, but you can choose whichever style you want. And uh, it'll also give you a little more heart detail. In this particular instance, there wasn't any heart detail to give, uh, but it has updated some of those features as well. Uh, looking at the watch in general, uh, you may already know this, but it has other options, kind of limited. Um, you can also choose different uh, tweaks and gar goals and targets within each exercise mode, uh, like pace setting when running. It'll tell you too fast, slow down, and so on. Uh, there's also uh, different watch faces that work as apps, like this Tetris one. Uh, it's fun, works well. Uh, there is a cost to some of them, uh, none of them are uh, too exorbitant. There is uh, another game-like app here. Uh, it's more of a watch face, but it lets you race and ride around. Also, quite fun and entertaining. Uh, there's the music options. You can control your phone's music and uh, YouTube movement as well as internal. That uh, works like an MP3. Um, up to however many gigs of space you have. Uh, up to four, but most of that will be used by other things, so realistically two or three. It also has a nice, quick um, do not disturb option. It's great for when you go to sleep or are at the movie theater. Uh, if you want to turn on the Wi-Fi option, tip and trick, turn the Bluetooth off first and then it'll let you turn on the Wi-Fi, at which point you can then choose the um, Wi-Fi you want and click on it. It'll also give you a keyboard to type in any key passwords.
Uh, in theory, this will let you connect to your phone via Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth if you're too far away. Uh, make sure you set up your profile for the most accurate details. And uh, the power saving mode is a nice feature uh, if you're going to be gone for a while. Uh, it still tracks all of your walking and uh, activities in the background if you do it for more than 10 minutes. Um, and it'll drop the power down to quite a bit, about 1% per hour. Uh, within the app there are a bunch of other watch faces. Um, make sure you go to that top hamburger grill mark item and that'll get you to the essentials tab. Uh, from the essentials that's where you get your actual apps. Um, items that aren't watch faces. Uh, just recently they finally added the calendar app. Uh, before you could only get it through um, watch faces but now you can get it uh, separately as both a widget and an app. Uh, there are other apps as well. Uh, you can choose to your liking, not many, maybe 10 or so. Hopefully there will be more. Um, but there are a few to play around with. There is a weather app and other widget items. Um, in order to add a widget, you're only allowed eight at a time, so you must remove one, then you, must, then you can add it. Uh, here's the new calendar widget that I just installed. Uh, it lets you to look at the current today items, as well as by choosing the uh, number at the top, the date, uh, future calendar items as well. Their app uh, is pretty nice. It shows you quite a few details, although lately it has not been updating uh, as often or as well. It seems any time that I have an actual update on the app is when it updates, not when I choose it to, uh, but when it works, it is nice. This watch has a lot of possibilities, uh, similarly shown by some of these uh, watch faces where it lets you pull up calendars and calculators. Uh, even display your phone's camera to your watch. Now, which would be nice to find as actual applications, which obviously can be done.